guys, welcome back to the channel. This week is vlogging week on Channel Mum. So we are going to talk about starting your own vlogging channel. It's something that I have addressed before, but I want to sort of recover. Because um, looking back on that video, I don't think that I really covered enough. Here are my tips for starting a vlogging channel. So if you're going to be doing life vlogs, just like recording your daily life, or weekly life or whatever however what frame you want to do it in uh, don't stress too much about getting too much footage just get that important stuff the life-changing stuff the super cute stuff if you've got kids or if you're really soppy with your boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that and just have fun with it Try not to like feel the pressure too much because if you feel the pressure you're not going to be enjoying it and that kind of defeats the point. So setting up your vlogging channel, what you'll need is a camera. Sorry baby. <laughs> you can use your phone for this. Most phones have a fairly decent uh, camera that you can do video on. Um, or you can invest in an actual camera or a film camera. Yeah, anything will do really, so long as you can film on it and the audio is decent. Uh, you also need something to edit with. Again, there are some mobile editing things, but then you have to be concerned about like how much space you're taking up on your phone. Yeah, and the other thing you need is somewhere to film that is tidy um, and has good lighting. So if your house is a mess and super dark, like mine sometimes is, then try and avoid filming in those parts of your house or tidy your house up and buy better light. <laughs> Low light on cheaper cameras is difficult. Um, <laughs> makes it really grainy and hard to see. Um, but yeah, if you get like super good cameras, you can even struggle sometimes in low light. It, but you'll be finding it a lot easier. And copyright music you want to avoid, like the plague. It's all really nice to have like well-known music in your videos, but if you do want to go to sort of monetize those videos, and even some videos without being monetized, you'll get a copyright flag like come up and it'll say, this music belongs to this person, and they want to like, um, share in the uh, sort of profit from it and even if you're not planning on monetizing the video sometimes they can do that they will say like you can keep your video up and people can see it but we're gonna take money from it um, so just try and avoid copyright music there is a relatively big and fairly good music library on YouTube, once you've got your channel all set up and activated, you can go into the creator part of it, the creator studio, and that has a big music library of um, music that's safe to use in your videos. So if you are sort of doing the kind of vlogs where you just sit down and talk to the camera like I am now, then you need to make sure you have a nice simple background. This is kind of what I've got, considering it's like, seven o'clock at night in, in, in like winter <laughs> and um, it's dark. So this is where, where I've got with my lighting at the moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice simple background. If you've got like a few little twinkly lights in the background, that's usually super cute. And you'll probably notice a lot of people do like dim lights in the background and just like a plain background other than that then that's really good. It makes sure that the focus is on you and what you're saying rather than mess or, ooh, sh 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 sh. mess or like bright, colorful paintings in the background. <laughs> like right now, you may have been focusing on this. If you're confused as to what it is, it's where we put our like TV cable in. Um, but yeah. So I'll just, I'll use him to cover that. <laughs> He's so not impressed with that. And make sure you've really got the lighting sort of in front of you. My lighting's up here because it's just my lap, my uh, living room light. Um, so 
that's why I'm darker on this side. I don't have any lighting over here and it's frustrating me. Natural light is really great if you can sort of set up with the window, oh, window camera you. Um, if that makes sense, I'll do it this way. Window camera you. Um, and then you've got that natural light coming onto your face, but again, you don't want it to be too bright or you will just be like a white face. When you edit, you want to have like some nice mellow music in the background. Just sort of set the mood. <laughs> that sounds really weird. Um, again, to like have a background music. So if you do have a pause that you don't fancy chopping out, then you've got the music in the background or if you're cutting to like some video footage that you don't particularly want any audio for then you've just got some nice music to just sort of make it more enjoyable and pleasant for everybody but you need to make sure you need to make sure that that music isn't too loud because you need to be able to hear yourself or the viewers need to be able to hear what you're saying and actually focus on that Rather than having like, say if they're both at the same volume, it's going to be hard to sort of get that focus on your voice and what you're saying. So reasons to do it. You have to be doing it for the right reasons. If you're doing it to try and get loads of subscribers and lots of money and internet fame, then just stop, turn around, put the camera down and go find some other hobby. Because if you're doing it for all those reasons, <laughs> People are going to be able to see that in your videos. You'll lose motivation when it doesn't just happen like super quick because, you know, getting subscribers isn't the easiest thing in the world. You have to network and put yourself out there and advertise your channel. And it's not going to happen straight away. Not everybody's going to love your videos. Not everybody clicks subscribe, even if they frequently come back to your channel. Just remember you're doing it for you, not for views. That should be like a slogan. For you, not for views. And always remember to keep a very sort of open conversation with your viewers. <laughs> in, ooh, give them reasons to comment in your little comment section and reply back to as many of them as you can. And go and comment on your like favorite vloggers channels like not necessarily saying come and check out my channel just comment anything to do with that actual video that you've watched so watch the video like you normally would and just comment down below like oh great video I really enjoyed this bit and then it's not like luring people to your channel or being deceitful or anything but it does raise your visibility on YouTube and then say someone was scrolling through the comments they might see like Oh, that person's got a nice little picture and they said something nice or if you said something like oh my child does this too blah 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 then they'll be like oh they've got kids too they've got some videos on their channel I could go and check them out and they'll go and click on your channel and go and see you and maybe they'll subscribe but yeah it raises your visibility commenting on other people's videos and it also helps them the fact that you're interacting with their videos um and you know it's just nice for both of you and any other commenters that join in sort of a little conversation in the comments yeah so feel free to have a conversation in the comments here the first thing people will see when they hover over your little name in the comments is your channel photo so like mine is a little black and white picture of me and then your channel banner or your channel art whatever you want so you have to make sure that you have some nice looking channel art and a nice photo to sort of encourage people to actually look at what you're putting up um i like to go for sort of a nice simple thing um because if there's too much going on it's it's not as pleasing to the eye it's just like a nice simple thing um and there's lots of different websites where you can get channel art made for your channel banners. And I think that's it for this video. 
So if you have any questions about starting a YouTube channel, um, I also have a gaming channel as well, but I don't really have much advice from that one as it's sort of new territory for me. Um, then yeah, comment them down below, any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go and check out my vlogging channel. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!